hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit the cityscape or urban style photo and i'll give you that photo preset link to you for your using purpose and you guys you know that uh, this one is totally free so let's start the tutorial at first i'm just going to the file and open up and just i just downloaded three photos from the unsplash.com for the stock photo and the example purpose and just open it up and uh, the tutorial today's tutorial map is like that i'll show you the process how to make the preset and how i do the color adjustment and other steps and then i just uh, apply that preset to other images and i'll end the tutorial so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'm using the photoshop creative cloud version 2018 and you can use it or you can update it in 2019 all the same almost same just change some features so don't worry about that yeah and here is the options uh, filter camera filter if you are using the creative cloud version then this camera filter these plugins you are getting by default otherwise you have to install it manually so okay at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then filter camera filter you know that uh, the camera filter is that filter that plugins which is similar like the lightroom and those who are habitual with the lightroom then they can use this panel or this camera filter so here at first uh, let's analyze the picture this one the cityscape and here is some uh, light which is unnecessary and everything is good if you want to get the urban look you have to adjust the lights and color so let's start the temperature and tint uh, okay yet but uh, i'll change it if i require to change it okay then at first i'll just down the exposure a little bit and highlight a little bit down so and you'll get the you know, like sun ray or color you'll get that shadow a little bit up and whites a little bit up blacks make it down it will be like prominent the things so in this case i'll add some shadow for the high dynamic range or all the parts of the picture will be highlighted like shadow uh, good lighted actually so clarity little bit up and variance little bit up saturation little bit up yeah that's fine and then go to the hsl at first i'll just adjust the colors so saturation hue hue saturation and luminance that's why the name of the tab is hsl h for hue is for saturation l for luminance so hue here is the uh, primary like uh, photo the majority of the color is blue that's why blue hue i will change it to a little bit yeah like aqua minus 9 or 10 that's good and the blue luminance i'll make it down three or four and aqua as well the saturation of aqua i will increase blue of blue saturation i'll increase a little bit that's good and the orange color saturation increase that's fine and then the effects from effects i'll dehaze a little bit minus five or six that's good and then the camera calibration so here is three primary colors red green and blue and here is the blue color i'll make the blue color like yeah that's good minus eight minus 17 that's good primary red color i'll make it like not like that yeah that's good and the primary green color i'll work with it and i'll make it like this and saturation i'll make it up and red saturation i'll make it up so the blue is uh, too much saturated that's why here from here i'll desaturate this one from the hsl panel 
I'll desaturate and make it eye friendly. So aqua I'll desaturate. That's good. And then now I'll go to the tone curves. This one is most important part of the picture editing. So here the blue color. Here is the blue majority. That's why I'll work with the blue. And I'll make the blue color. Yeah that's cool that's like wormy color and then the rgb options i'll make it like this so let's see the before one and after one yeah the before one and after one yeah the changes so we have more process to do so let's do it and then the red color so the red color will be like yeah that's good and from here i'll make the temperature or tint i'll make the temperature plus four and tin plus nine yeah that's good and i'm saving this one save settings and giving the name of this preset the urban or city it is good and hit the ok button okay the before one and after one now go to the adjustment layer and gradient options from here select this gradient and go to the style linear to radial make the degree the zero degree make it reverse and ether and scale is 350 that's fine and hit the ok button and then i'll add another filter for this photo so i'm going to the adjustment layer again and then the solid color and select any color and hit ok then make the blending mode to soft light and now change the color suppose i want to make the color like this or this yeah it could be or you can change the color so i think this one is good and hit ok so this one is the process let's apply this preset to another photo so go to the file and open up i'm just opening up another photo another cityscape press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer filter camera filter and that preset which i saved earlier and i load it out suppose this one the city yeah that's good but in this case i have to change the exposure a little bit highlight a little bit so the before one and after one you're getting the prominent building blocks and the sky and other stuffs so hit the ok button so let's apply this preset to another photo here yeah this one is another city so press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer filter camera filter and then uh, load settings option from the preset settings and city yeah that's fine if you need you change the temperature and tint i think this one is good and you can increase the saturation and exposure as well contrast yeah that's good the before one and after one and hit the ok button so before one and after one okay i think this one will help you a lot this preset is free of cost and if you want to download this preset please check out my video description and don't forget to thumbs up and share with your friends until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye